Yo, what's going on guys? It's Juan Solo here with A Squad Gaming. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the chance of Call of Duty XP 2016 actually happening. Uh, you get all these guys uh, that have been post posting on their YouTube channels today uh, about this secret package that, you know, that a few of them got in the mail from Call of Duty, and it's like this black envelope that's all sealed. And there was a couple other YouTubers that talked about it, and uh, there was, a, it's kind of, uh, I know T. Martin got one. Uh, I believe it was Aches got one. They're kind of random on who they sent them to. But everybody's speculating, you know, that it's going to be, you know, Infinite Warfare information or COD 4 Remastered information, you know, or something about the 10th Specialist and all this stuff. You know, a lot of people have been talking about what they think it is, so I'm just putting my opinion out there. In my opinion, I honestly think it's going to be something related to the big uh, Call of Duty event. Uh, which here, as you see on screen, uh, Call of Duty XP 2016. I actually attended uh, Call of Duty XP that was in Los Angeles, California back in 2011. I attended that. And what you're going to see here is kind of a little slideshow of uh, just some of the pictures that I took when I was out in L.A. in 2011. I honestly wish I would have known that YouTube was going to blow up, I guess you could say like this. I would have vlogged this entire trip. Uh, it was me and four buddy, or three other buddies that we uh, flew out to L.A., and uh, went to the Call of Duty XP event, and it was it was honestly it was one of the greatest experiences I've ever had. But uh, back to what we were talking about, I kind of think that the, these little black envelopes that are getting sent out are some sort of invite to this event that they're talking about doing this year. I know back in March, I believe it was, uh, Call of Duty and Activision released a statement saying that there is going to be a big uh, event this year, like a public event, a big gaming event similar to Call of Duty XP. So, whether or not that's what this is, you know, obviously we won't know until, I believe they said to all the guys that got these, uh, got these uh, packages in the mail, can open it up at 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time tomorrow, so 9 p.m. on the East Coast. And, uh, you know, obviously we're going to know then because, you know, all your guys' YouTubes and stuff is going to be blown up uh, with information on what those packages were. But, you know, uh, my speculation is, is maybe it's, a, it's an invite to uh, the big Call of Duty event that they're going to have this year. They really haven't released any information on that yet this year. I know with, you know, the COD World League uh, being so big this year, you know, why not put, you know, the championship is going to be this fall. Why not do a big Call of Duty event, a community event, you know, towards the fall, have the Call of Duty finals at this event, you know, invite all a bunch of people, you know, if you want to buy tickets and stuff like that, that you can attend this awesome, you know, community event. Maybe play some Infinite Warfare, maybe play some Call of Duty 4 Remastered. Um, I know that we got to play Modern Warfare 3 at this event back in 2011. We got to play it early. You know, there was a lot of cool stuff at the event. We got to play uh, some Special Ops game mode. We got to do, you know, we got to meet Major Nelson, as you can see on screen here. He was a pretty cool guy. Um, you know, there was a lot of cool things out there. They had, uh, they recreated the map Scrapyard from Modern Warfare 2, and you got to play paintball on it. And uh, as you can see here, they recreated the Burger Town restaurant that was in uh, the Modern Warfare 2 games. And they had all sorts of food at that restaurant that you could just go up and place an order and get some cool food and stuff from there. But as you see in this picture here, that is the Modern Warfare 2 Scrapyard map remastered. Uh, and you got to play paintball on it. And it was, it was pretty accurate, I'm not going to lie. There was a little, a few things that were not quite right, but, uh, and in this picture here, actually, this is one of the Call of Duty XP uh, guys that worked there. He actually was staying at our hotel, and uh, after the event closed, they basically said that they weren't letting anybody else play any more games and stuff like that. We found him, and he actually let us come into the the booth where you could play uh, the Spec Ops, uh, where the survival the survival mode where you had to go up against waves and waves of enemies, and everybody else was leaving the event, and he escorted us and and told the guys that we were VIPs, even though we weren't, uh, and we got to play Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare 3 Spec Ops for like two hours or so after the actual event closed. Like I believe everybody else was going out to the Kanye concert because like even I mean if they did want to go to it. Because uh, Kanye West was performing on the second night, which I could really care less. We didn't go to that. But I know on the first night they had the uh, Dropkick Murphys, or like an Irish band that was playing. And, uh, you know, if they have something like that this year, that would be that'd be awesome. Obviously, I can't go to it. Uh, you know, I have a family. I got a lot of expenses and stuff. There's no way I could, you know, fly out and cover this event in person. But, uh, you know, they had a couple concerts at that uh, event, you know, back in 2011. A lot of really cool features. Um, if you actually attended the event, you got the Prestige Edition of Modern Warfare 3 absolutely free. 
they sent it to your house and actually you got it almost 24 hours ahead of the launch I actually got mine early Monday morning and the game actually didn't come out until you know midnight that night so that was pretty cool perk uh, from going to the event you know get the game free and get it early but uh, yeah I mean there's a lot of cool things that happened at that event back in 2011 and honestly if they brought it back now you know the Call of Duty community has grown since then you know you got a lot more YouTubers a lot more you know, guys that uh, would attend this event and uh, honestly that's that's just my opinion on what this you know this black envelope that everybody's getting all the YouTubers and you know the people are getting um, that's kinda what my opinion is I might be way wrong I might be close I might you know who knows you know we'll find out tomorrow morning but uh, last but not least in this video guys if you guys are paying attention to the gameplay in the background this was actually the first match that I played on Black Ops 3 when the game came out uh, on the, was it November 6th this was the first game that I played and I remember in the beta playing that the XR2 was a pretty good gun and uh, so I played it uh, on my first game and actually for like the first two or three days I was just you know I was raping kids with this gun and uh, then they started doing all the weapon balancing and stuff like that but uh, that's pretty much all for this video guys you know my opinion on what all the black envelopes are that uh, everybody's getting you know Call of Duty XP 2016 like I said I might be wrong I might be right who knows we'll find out tomorrow but uh, yeah that's pretty much all for this video guys and uh, if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to smash that like button and if you're new around here make sure to subscribe for more awesome uh, Call of Duty and Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon videos and uh, I will see you guys next time Peace out.